it's your approach. The approach gotta be more gorilla on it. I just believed in myself and I know Had the back of my dad And my mom and my sister too And I don't believe you with you Yo, 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 yo That's best on Have one more time, son I got my wife, I got my kids I got my life, I got my kids What we do, I really have Just my soul, it's a bad day I believe me I feel like I'm kind of naturally drawn towards soul and jazz and honest hip hop. Uh, more into music than I am into dancing, more into music than I am into lyrics. I was at a jazz jam today at 18th and Vine and realizing that although currently I am known by certain people as a singer, I'm not very good at singing at open mics because I don't know any song lyrics. So I really don't care about song lyrics. I just care about music, which as a singer is hard sometimes. So if anybody wants to write any songs for me, I'll just make up the notes and it'll be great. In September of 2008, um, I went to Germany for two weeks and that is a result of um, my man Cornelius from Think Loud uh, Records uh, in Germany asked to bring Reggie B, who was a singing artist, producer, friend of mine, um, on tour. Uh, he also asked Reggie B if I'd be able to come on tour. Reggie B informed me of that and I told him I would. Um, Reggie B ended up not being able to go on the tour due to some passport issues, so I ended up going by myself to Frankfurt, Germany, and I met with him and he was gracious enough to take me all through Germany. Um, we dipped into Poland and uh, the Czech Republic and Austria, but it was mainly Germany for two weeks. Um, got to meet a lot of great people, do a lot of cool events and shows in stores, etc. Um, and eventually got to also meet the people who ran Melting Pop Music, which is a label I released Close to Love on. Um, which I can grab up there, but uh, it was just cool to meet all the people that I talked to on the internet, producers, people involved in music, period, that I never really met in person. It was kind of surreal. Um, one instance was there's this guy named Suff Daddy who is based in Berlin right now, and uh, I was on his EP that came out on Melting Pop Music, the, t uh, the first track called um, Late Night Suff, a song I really like. But it was like just kind of surreal that I would be there in Berlin for his album release party when I've been on other people's albums in the States that I haven't been in their release party, you know. So to be, a, you know, across the world basically in someone else's release party and to meet them at the same time and perform the song with them when you've recorded it, it's about to be released but you've never even talked before. It's pretty surreal in this age of like electronic media. So that was pretty cool. And I'll be back at some point, but... It was, a, it was a good opportunity. It felt like a gift the whole time. Like I was out there, I went, you know, Cornelius dropped me to Dresden and Gerlitz and all these places that I would have never been. The whole time there, I'm just like, wow, you know, because he, he did a great job of organizing it to the point that he took care of everything and it was awesome. <clears throat> Someone who I want to shout out to, who I really, you know, if I were to like die right now, would want to like, think back on and like respect and show my admiration would be um, W. Ellington Felton in DC, who now, I, I don't know if he looks like Wes, Wes Felton or not, I don't really know what the status of that is, but um, he reached out to me because I was um, at the height of, I guess, my like producerism, I made some beats and I submitted them to Scratch Magazine, which at the time was a really big deal which isn't around anymore, but there was a period when Scratch Magazine, a division of XXL, was like a really, really cool producer magazine. It was really great for people that were interested in the beat side of hip hop. Um, 
and I submitted some music to them, and I ended up getting featured in there. And as a result, I think there were a bunch of people contacting me, but um, I don't know if it was a result of that or not, but around that time, a W. Owens Development singer in the DC contacted me and wanted to do some stuff. And I, he, he wanted to beat off on my stage, and I sent it to him, and he sent it back to me with this singing on it that just like completely opened up my mind to another way to interpret hip hop beat compositions. And um, I definitely give him credit for opening me up to feeling as though I could also participate in that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> before that, real quick, I also have to give a shout out to Approach, uh, the rapper around here who also produces, um, for encouraging me to sing, because I wasn't really a singer when I was with Sounds Good, but he like always said I should, and I did a lot of my first singing things with him, so shout out to him, but um, past then, uh, through Melting Pot, they, you know, Oliver, who runs the label, has a really good ear for producers and such, and I use that to my advantage to really try and hook up a lot of people, such as um, Suff Daddy in Berlin. Um, previous to Melting Pot, I started working with TE1, who's in the UK. So he and I did this. That was released on Melting Pot. Um, he's a really good producer as well. Um, I'm currently working with Brink, B-R-E-N-K, who's in Vienna for an EP, maybe LP, depending on how it turns out. Um, I hooked up with Spinner T, who's in California. I hooked up with DJ Day. We did some songs. A lot of the stuff I've been recording since this hasn't come out yet. And um, the Time to Cut 7-inch has some here. Um, and it's actually going to be re-released because apparently, and this will be worthwhile, but if you can look at these, it says bad. I'm sure most, if not all of these say bad. So I had to learn on my own, unfortunately, that all of these pressings do not play without skipping. But um, just to say that it will be repressed. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's gonna come out, but me and DJ Day are working on stuff, me and Brinks, things will probably be out sooner. Um, I'm gonna release a seven inch at some point with me and uh, TE1 from the UK, but I mean the internet, like MySpace specifically, has been awesome for people connecting musically, and I think it's kind of also been the downfall of MySpace in terms of the fact that it's kind of probably going to disappear soon, just because I feel like there's really no reason to use it anymore with all, the, all these other sites doing a better job of things, but um, I mean, I really can't even say enough about the way that the internet has impacted my ability to collaborate with other people. I'd be pretty bored probably if I just had to work with people around here, although there's a lot of good people that I'm still working with from the Nate Sounds crew and otherwise, but you know, I guess just going to Germany was the most important way to really connect the fact that when I'm here in my room, whether it's here at my old house or whatever, and I'm collaborating with people from around the globe, that they actually are like around the planet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of an abstract concept if you've never traveled. But when you sit on a plane forever, and then you're at their house, it becomes real, you know? And that was surreal and it's something I'm very grateful for. Approach. Approach gotta be more gorilla on it.